Okay, so we're going to talk about the Mortal Kombat mobile games. So the first one is just called Mortal Kombat which was a tie-in video game for Mortal Kombat X that's still getting, like, things and stuff. And then there's Mortal Kombat Onslaught, the newest one. And we're gonna take a deep analysis on both of them. So, let's dive right into it! So let's start off with the first one, Mortal Kombat. But I like to call it Mobile Kombat. And it's a fighting game. I know you're probably like, well, that's really obvious. But you'll get what I mean when we go to Mortal Kombat Onslaught. So yeah, Mobile Kombat was a tie-in game for Mortal Kombat X. And you choose three fighters so you can fight. Something in both of these games is that some of the fighters are just like Shokan Warrior or Lin Kuei Assassin. You honestly just get rid of them in your slots. Like, I'm not kidding. But what I do like is that you can have different loadouts, so you don't keep using the same exact three fighters. Like, for example, my slots are Shaolin Monks, Lin Kuei, and Special Forces. But once I get the characters, I'll do, like, Black Dragon and Shirai Ryu, because the future is in my hands. Hopefully there isn't a max for slots. So yeah, it's basically just a fighting game. And here's how this works. You have one person you fight as them, but anytime you want, you can click on another fighter out of your three. And then they can do some moves. They all have a super move, which is pretty cool. And just, just a few times, you can do fatalities. And I love fatalities. I know I'm talking about a lot of positives, but there are some negatives. Like how you can't jump. Seriously, just make me, like, swipe up and then I can jump. But no, you can't do that. Just let me be able to jump. But also, it kind of works like Mortal Kombat X, where, like, you choose, like, a fraction. I chose the Lin Kuei. But I've only played the online once. And I'm not really that big of an online guy in video games. It's because most video games I'm really bad at. But I mean, in Mortal Kombat 1, I can do a 12-hit combo with Reptile. And I know that's pretty good. But I haven't mastered the use of blocking. And I'm about to list a problem that also goes for Mortal Kombat X. There's like no color in these frames. Like, like, there's like no color. Everything's just damp and void of color. And games like MK9 and MK1 are like full of color. But MKX and Mobile Combat just aren't that, I guess. But I do like the game, so I'll give it a 7.6 out of 10. And now let's talk about the most recent mobile game, Mortal Kombat Onslaught. Now this did have a prequel comic, and I read it on DC Universe Infinite, and it was pretty good. Now let's talk about it. So this game has an entire story mode, and it has actual in-game, like, super cool cutscenes. These graphics are better than the Switch version of Mortal Kombat 1, and it's a mobile game! But I'ma be honest, I'm not that interested in the story. Probably because the cutscenes don't really show up that much, and you get like these text thingies. But I do get why it's a mobile game. So yeah, now this actually isn't a fighting game, it's an RPG. And I'm not the biggest fan of RPGs, but I still do like them. And sometimes the story can get me behind it. I sometimes only play for the story. So, you choose four fighters to go into combat. But unlike mobile combat, you don't have multiple slots. So you're just stuck with those four fighters. My four fighters are Scorpion, Noob, Saibot, Kung Lao, and Fujin. But sometimes the story mode locks some characters in, like I'm in Johnny Cage. And the game is kinda fun. But I do gotta say... The unlocking characters in this game is way worse than Mobile Combat. Like, Mobile Combat had it bad, but this is really bad. Really, really, really bad. And yet again, they have like Lin Kuei Assassin or Shokan Warrior. And I never use those guys. So, I'll give Mortal Kombat Onslaught a 7 out of 10. Now, let's go to the conclusion. Now, I had kind of a fun time playing these games. Even though they're in the range of 7s, that means that they're still good. And I mean, they're both free, so I definitely recommend you getting them. And I might do this with the Injustice Mobile games. And those things are way, way worse. 
So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I still recommend you getting these games though. Anyways, I'll see you next